Hey everyone, my name is Jacob. And my name's Alex. And, and Jeremy's still our with special us. guest, still eating cheese. Oh, uh, he's episode. very special. It's Swiss cheese, if you if you guys care. I hope those drove low, but a little late for that. Yeah. I also thought there was salami, but there's only ham. Ah oh, man, no salami. That's just messed up. Well. So we're going to the stair that we're running. So that's that's something. Run, bunny. And it brings us right to it. And we gotta see these cutscenes again. Why does his head stick out of the ground? Why not? Because he's too fat to fit in? Yes. He's a weight problem. He can't help it. Oh! That was scary. Leave me alone! Where did his you pupils can't. go? He lost them. <laughs> you picked them right out of his eyes? Yep. Yes. Because when he was crying, he was rubbing his eyes so hard that he just fell out. No! He's too far away! So, Jerry, why don't you tell everyone camp was? Why don't you? I'm oh, guessing it's well, my uh, friend, he brought, like, these fruit snacks when, and he threw them away from the tent, and his toothbrush was in the same bag. He ate the fruit snacks, but the wrappers were still in there. So when we woke up, the bag was, like, another ten feet away from where he threw them, and the raccoon, like, raccoon... Raccoon. Uh, the raccoon, it seemed like it purposely took a shit right on its toothbrush. <laughs> it just went, oh, no food? Shh. <laughs> <laughs> I've got another story about animals in camp. Last year, I was in a tent with my friend, and I don't know, I had, I had like toothpaste or something in my camp trunk. So anyway, at like four in the morning, a bear pokes its nose through the back flap of my tent. It rips my trunk open, and it starts going through it. <laughs> like just it, it, it does open? that for like a good 20 minutes. Wait, were you just scared leaves. out of your mind? I was about to shit myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So it's like 20 it minutes it leaves right and what no it like the it was unlocked so it just opened oh. it with its paw and okay. it started like, it was, like digging around in it for like whatever the hell it was that was in my I, I still to this day I don't know what it was looking for my friend he was like oh uh, like there's this raccoon you could see there's strack stra scratch marks on his toe and like he was like wondering, I don't have any toothpaste or anything in there. But then he finds a bag of Hershey Kisses and it says, <laughs> "Have a good time at camp." <laughs> <laughs> He's like, "Love you from mom or something." So okay. his mom almost killed him. Yeah, he was like, "Have a good time uh, at camp." Have a good. Oh, don't worry, I will. Look at all the new bear friends I made. Where's Raccoon though? You could see it was like almost ripped through. Ah, uh, let's see where he is. The raccoon isn't as bad as a bear. I guess no. not. I don't like raccoons. That was a really short one. Uh, uh, almost get, I don't know if you were there in Cub Scouts when we almost got eaten by a ra like a rabid raccoon at Sandy Hook. Were you there? No. I don't know. It was like sleeping on Warren's head half the night. <clears throat> okay, you're going to a this. raccoon was licking my friend's sleeping bag because he like <laughs> he left his ass wipes in there. His <laughs> ass wipes. So then. He, it was licking its sleeping bag, and then I threw a couple of batteries at it, and it left. What kind of batteries? Triple A's. Triple A's. Ah. Oh. Triple A's. Those are small. Yeah. I like the bigger batteries myself. Double D's. <laughs> we. Oh, this is a Goomba. Oh. oh no. Does this pick up percussional sounds well? Right? Yeah. Woo! You're gonna max it out. Oh, max it out, eh? 
I sing on the railroad. Yeah. There once was a farmer who lived on a rock. He sat in the meadow, just shaking his fist at some boys who were down by the creek. Their feet in the water, their hands on their marbles and playthings, and at half past four, there came a young lady. She looked like a pretty young creature. She sat on the grass. She pulled up her dress and she showed them her ruffles and laces and fluffy white duck. She said she was learning a new way to bring up her children so they would not spit. While the boys in the barnyard were shoveling refuse and litter from yesterday's hunt. While the girl in the meadow was rubbing her eyes at a guy who was down by the dock. He looked like a man with a sizable home in the country with a big fence out front. If he asked her politely, she'd show him her little white dog who was subject to fits. And maybe she'd let him grab hold of her small tender hands with a movement so quick. And then she'd bend over and suck on his candy so tasty made of butterscotch. And then he'd spread whipped cream all over her cookies that she had left out on the shelf. If you think this is dirty, you can go fuck yourself. <laughs> there Bobby, you go. <laughs> there Bobby, you go. Bobby, uh, the Scoutcraft director, was saying us that. Oh, it was funny when we were about to go on a backpacking trip in camp, there was this hot venture scout walked by, and Frankie was like, can she come with us? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're gonna need that. What? Yeah. That? This, oh, this level's like a bitch. By the way, I think this level looks awesome. Yup. And what was I gonna say? When we were so, for those of you who don't know, that was the Assumption song. You can look it up on YouTube. The pictures that go along with it are just great. It, it's, it, it's just a hilarious song. I need that. No. Shadow Shore Ready. Oh, you should show her the bad ones. They'd be like, yeah, these are all the ones that we made. <laughs> we made two of them, Mom. You better not show her this one. I don't think I ever will. No. I don't think she'll stay around to watch the whole thing. Maybe no. My mother. Oh. Yeah, you should just like. Oh god! You should so never show her. You should never show your mother these either. Oh, that oh my way. god! No. She would ground him when she found out the name. Like, what are some of the names of these? S M G E P eighteen. That sounds like some kind of fancy drug. S. There you go. That's what I named the videos. <laughs> Because I am too lazy to write out as a uh, Superman. S M G E P T one two, S M G E P one three, S M four E P fourteen. Yeah. What? If Where? How do you know? Because we know. Because I tried doing that in Sling Pod. Then when we watched the video, the volume was maxed out. Okay, I'll speak really quietly. S M G E P. One, three. You like my rap song, y'all? I don't think they could hear you. How do you know? Because it was maxed out. I was out. talking to the mic. Yeah. Wait, so like every time I max out the mic, it like goes... We don't know. I really don't know. But it's like you, you can hear something really loud, but you can't make out what it's saying. I need to hit me. So what was I talking about? Uh. You were talking about Boy Scouts. Oh. Wow. Because like oh, like me, oh, his brother is a faggot and he's in Boy Scouts. What? <laughs> All Boy Scouts are what? faggots, so what you know? No, uh, the, our troop is regular. We're not gay. Uh, are you yeah. saying... My troop is pretty gay. We cuddle with each other every night. <laughs> are you just saying that? No, I'm, <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> we are not gay. Is there anything wrong with that, Jeremy? Yes. <laughs> You know what's funny? Because Boy Scouts is one of the organizations that's supposed to be like really opposed to homosexuality. It really? is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's weird. It still sort of is. They just don't want to say that's it. That's not tolerant. They don't really tolerate it. Like, morally straight. Yeah, exactly. Physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. Those, those are They're part like, of the Scout Oath? 
They're like completely against it. Yeah. yeah. Which isn't nice. No. <laughs> well, I'm in. It's discrimination. I don't care. Maybe if they were regular, out of the troop. Maybe if they were regular, we would discriminate against them. Yeah. Have you ever thought about that? See, this is just like the totally intolerant episode. This is like the worst part of the level. So let's see. Uh. Uh. Let's see. What was I gonna say? Oh yes. Something about gay people There's this dad. one funny guy, Bobby. This funny guy here. He's like super crazy, and we have a picture of him with like. And he was carrying around like a gallon jug of water everywhere around uh, camp. And he had it hanging from his backpack and it would swing everywhere. And it was, you know, like a just gallon you jug. Around. You and gotta then, go around. And then this one guy, other funny guy, was talking to his brother and he was like, Hello, oh, this is the Mental Institute. We have placed your uh, brother in a Mental Institute because he's carrying around a water jug. Wow, I, I, oh, that, that, that took me forever when I did this the first time. I just randomly shoot until I make it. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. That's how we solve all our problems in the USA. <laughs> Random shooting. That's how America solves all their problems. Makes sense. There's a cutscene, so I won't end it here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we can go to the center of the universe now because we've got oh, 60 yeah. stars. Because we're just that good. But we're not going to go there. Oh, wait, never mind. Wait, we what? Can, wait. The stars we have to get. Never mind. Wait, unless it teleports us back. I don't, I don't know. Uh, oh, wait, no, no, no. no we have to beat, beat the all the rest of the Bowser levels. Yeah. Okay. Okay, never mind. Uh, okay. Want to go for one more now? Nah. Alright, All right, so thank you so what much for What are we doing? Wait. The yeah. outro. Huh. What? What? What are you doing? What are you guys doing? Okay. Ending the episode. Okay. Alright, so anyway, thanks for watching. I love you all. Peace out, bitches. Oh,